If, if, and, and I'm curious, why in the name of common sense are we being so fussy about having the decisions in the people's house and the people's senate decided on a basis of a simple majority, 51 votes. And if there's something wrong with that, I wish somebody would tell me why we ought not give the people that kind of, rep of, of, of representation. I would note that also mandatory coverage mandates. That was in a, good, in a bill introduced by my good friend Bill Thomas, Chairman of Ways and Means Committee, and 20 members of the U.S. Senate. They said, and, and, and they were not fussy about that. And, and I think we ought to look to see. Here we have a chance to serve the people. I have people coming to my office with tears in their eyes. They can't get coverage. They have pre-existing conditions. A young dental surgeon I knew couldn't get health care. Why? Because she'd had breast cancer years before. She couldn't get care. And I've seen a lot of other cases like that. People who would have drive through pregnancies or drive through uh, mastectomies and all manner of high-handed abuse by the insurance companies. I'm always surprised when I can find somebody that's, that's, that's defending the insurance companies after the things that they do to the ordinary people in this country. They'll, they could cancel your insurance policy while you're on the gurney headed into the operating room. Somebody would, if somebody would explain that to me, I would be deeply grateful. But the fact of the matter is, we have a chance to do something that that uh, Dan Webster one time observed. I thought it was, I thought it was a very useful thing that he said, and I think we ought to say. It. He said, "Let us." See whether we also, in our day and generation, may not perform something worthy to be remembered. It's on, Madam Speaker, as you well know, it's on the wall of the House of Representatives. It's there for us in the House, and my colleagues in the Senate will know it. Those of you who I see again and serve with us will recognize that as something. We have before us a hideous challenge. The last perfect legislation that was presented to mankind was delivered to the Israelis at the base of Mount Sinai. It was on, it was on stone tablets written in the fingers of God. <laughs> Nothing like that has been presented to mankind since. What we're going to do is not perfect, but it's sure to make it better. And it's going to ease a huge amount of pain and suffering at a cost which we can afford which has been costed out by the Office of, uh, by the office of Management and Budget and the Congressional Budget Office, saying it's budget neutral. It, in fact, reduces the budget. I beg you, my friends, let us go forward on this great task. Thank you, John. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Speaker Pelosi wants to uh, say a brief word. John, do you want to say anything in closing? Uh, and then I will wrap up. Nancy. Thank you very much, Mr. President. As one who has abided by the three and a half minutes, I'm going to take a few seconds more now in closing uh, to extend thanks to Mr. President for bringing us together for your great leadership. And without it, we would not be so very close to uh, uh, affordability, accountability for the insurance companies, and accessibility for so many more Americans to improve their health care, to lower their cost. Mr. President, I hearken back to that meeting a year ago. At that time, uh, Senator Grassley said to, questioned you about the public option. And you said the public option is one way to keep the insurance companies honest and to increase, increase competition. If you have a better way, put it on the table. Well, I bring that up because we have come such a long way. We're talking about how close we are on this, how far apart we are here. But as a, 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 of representatives of the representative of the House of Representatives, I want you to know that we were there that day in support of a public option which would save $120 billion, keep the insurance companies honest, and uh, increase competition. We've come a long way to agreeing to a Republican idea, the exchanges. Uh, Senator Enzi has uh, been a leader in that. Senator Snow, along with Senator Durbin, had... Uh, uh, legislation to that uh, to that effect, a bipartisan, because the insurance companies opposed 
the public option. They couldn't take the competition. We have in our bill market-oriented encouraging to the uh, private sector initiatives. I think the insurance industry, left to its own devices, has behaved shamefully and we must act on behalf of the American people. They, we have lived on their playing field all this time. It's time for the insurance companies to exist on the playing field of the American people. I believe I have news for some of my colleagues because we have very much more in common. Uh, uh, Senator Coburn, you had so many positive suggestions, which I, I didn't hear much else of, but from you we did. And I think you'd be pleased to know that after much debate in our House, we uh, came up with value, not volume. Others have called it quality, not quantity in terms of utilization, overutilization. Uh, Senator McCain, when you talk about Florida, we're talking about re addressing the regional disparities in terms of, of compensation and, and, and health care. So we have addressed many of these issues in the bill. I think it's really important to note, though, and I want the record to show, because two statements were made here that are not factual in relationship to these bills. My colleague, Mr. Leader Boehner, the law of the land is there is no public funding of abortion and there is no public funding of abortion in these bills. And I don't want our listeners or viewers to get the wrong impression from what you said. Right. Mr. Camp, Mr. Camp, you said that the uh, that the, the Medicare cuts in this bill cut benefits for seniors. They do not. They do not. So I want the record to show just in those two cases where we may have differences of opinion and of approach and evaluation of diff the value of different things, but certain things are facts about our bills that I cannot let the opposite view stand when they are stated. Yes, it's hard to do this. Misrepresentation campaign that is going on about these bills, it's a wonder anybody would support them, as Mr. Waxman said. But the fact is, as the President said, many of these provisions on their own are largely supported by the American people. So this will take courage to do. 